Hi, I'm David Cantor and I'm with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor and welcome to Arizona Criminal Law TV. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you about today is what to do if you're stopped for a DUI. I get asked this question all the time. Um, if an officer stops you and says, sir, have you been drinking? The answer you're going to give is the same answer you'd give to, sir, did you rob a bank or sir, did you kill 10 people? You're going to say, I'm not going to answer any questions or do any tests until I talk to my lawyer. Now by saying that you didn't lie and you didn't confess, you said let me talk to my lawyer. Now if the officer gets you out and says let me look at your eyes, follow the light, follow the pen, you say stop. Am I free to go officer? If I'm not, then I want to talk to my lawyer. Don't do any field sobriety tests, don't do the eye test, don't answer questions, just simply say I wish to talk to my lawyer. Now if he says I'm going to have to arrest you because I smell alcohol, he was going to arrest you anyway. So. You say, whatever, but I need to talk to my lawyer. He'll take you down to the station. You call, preferably us, and we'll talk to you. Then he'll ask you for a sample of your blood. In Arizona, if you don't provide the sample, you lose your license for a year, and on top of that, they'll get a warrant, and they'll draw your blood forcibly if they have to. So we normally say on a first offense, go ahead and give that blood sample, and then ask to be released to go to a hospital and get an independent blood test. Normally, they'll cut you loose, you get into a cab, and you can go get that test if you wish. Uh, in essence, the officer can now say, I saw him weave once, I pulled him over, he smelled of alcohol, he gave me a blood sample, and I released him. That's all the officer will be able to tell a jury. Can't comment on your right to remain silent because that's your Fifth Amendment right. So it limits their evidence down to just whatever the chemical test is. Um, keep in mind, it's always better to reduce the evidence that you're giving them because they will say, I saw X, Y, and Z, and they will tend to stretch what they saw or exaggerate and that's always a problem so if you simply say nope I wish to talk to my lawyer it greatly reduces what they can claim that you did that night 